Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Today we will be exploring Genesis 17, where we discover the name by which we now know Abram, and continue on to the part of the Bible that many of us males tend to cringe at the thought of. Word of warning, dear friends, this chapter involves graphic details that some of you may find unnerving. Anyway, if you want to be a reader of the show, all you have to do is send me a message to this email address, and I'll send you further details of how you can do that. You can use that same address if you wish to discuss anything that I mentioned in the show, or even if you would like to send me a prayer request. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel, just so you know when new episodes are coming up. Now let's do the right thing, then God's word of a prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 17 when Abram was 99 years old, Yahweh appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. I will make my agreement between me and you, and will multiply you exceedingly. Abram fell on his face. God told him, saying, As for me, behold, my agreement is with you. You will be the father of a multitude of nations. Your name will no more be called Abram, but your name will be Abraham, for I have made you the father of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you. Kings will come out of you. I will establish my agreement between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting contract to be a God to you and to your offspring after you. I will give to you and to your offspring after you land where you are travelling of the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, I will be their God. God said to Abraham, As for you, you will keep my contract, you and your offspring after you, throughout their generations. This is my agreement which you shall keep between me and you and your offspring after you. Every man among you shall be circumcised. You shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskin. It will be a token of the agreement between me and you. He who is eight days old will be circumcised among you. Every male throughout your generations, he was born in the house, or brought with money from any foreigner who is not of your offspring. He was born in your house, and he who is brought with your money must be circumcised. My agreement will be in your flesh, but never lasting contract. The uncircumcised male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my contract. I said to Abraham, As for Sarai your wife, we shall not call her name Sarai, but her name will be Sarah. I will bless her, and moreover I will give you a son by her. Yes, I will bless her, and she will be a mother of nations. Kings of people will come from her. And Abraham fell on his face and laughed, and said in his heart, Will a child be born to him? is 100 years old. Will Sarah is 90 years old give birth? Abraham said to God, Oh that Ishmael may live before you. God said, No, but Sarah your wife will bear you a son. You shall call his name Isaac. I will establish my agreement with him for an everlasting contract of his offspring after him. As for Ishmael, I have heard you. Behold I have blessed him, I will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. He will become the father of twelve princes, and I will make him a great nation. But my contract I established with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear to you at this set time next year. When he finished talking with him, God went up from Abraham. Abraham took Ishmael his son, all who were born in his house, and all who were bought with his money. Every male among the men of Abraham's house circumcised the flesh of their foreskin the same day as God had said to him. Abraham was 99 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. Ishmael his son was 13 years old and he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. On the same day both Abraham and Ishmael his son were circumcised. All the men of his house, those born in the house and those bought with money from a foreigner were circumcised with him.